In this session, we would learn how to access a chemo port line. Sister Diana and Sister Anne Lois will be demonstrating the procedure. In order to access a porta cat, we will need the following things: central venous accessing dressing tray, sterile gloves, mask and cap, chlorhexidine, sterile gauze pieces, occlusive dressing like tegadem and tape, chemo port needle, normal saline, 10 cc syringes, whole towel and haplock. Whenever possible, use topical anesthetic like Emla or Prolox prior to accessing the chemo port to minimize the pain to the child. Explain the procedure to the patient and or the parent to promote understanding and cooperation. Before starting the procedure, first inspect the area of chemo port to look for any redness, tenderness or warmth. If any such thing is present, then inform the respective doctor. After wearing cap and mask, sister would perform hand wash and wear sterile gloves. Then she would open the dressing set at chemo port needle. She would prime the needle with normal saline and keep it ready. Then she will clean the area of chemo port with chlorhexidine for at least 30 seconds in a circular motion and put on a whole towel over it. She will then palpate the port and insert the chemo port needle holding the wings perpendicularly into the center of the port septum change the site with each axis do not use the same hole for each axis as it would lead to skin breakdown and infections then gently aspirate blood to verify proper placement of the needle and discard the first 2 to 3 ml of blood she will then give a proper 10 ml flush and lock the line If there is any gap present between the needle and the skin the space can be covered by a sterile gauze piece and cover the needle with an occlusive dressing like tegadem and tape later unclamp the extension tubing and gently flush again and connect to the iv set if any medications if we are not connecting to any iv infusion then flush the line with haplock and then clamp later cover the hub with sterile gauze piece we need to secure the porta cath to the patient at a second site by taping to the skin this will prevent any tension on the tubing or needle the needle should be changed at least once in every 7 days or at if at all any difficulty in flushing or unable to obtain blood written so this concludes the session thank you